Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. Cancer, I'm kind of laughing at this reading a little bit. Um, you, there's an ex here who is really unhappy. Like, they're number one, they're being laughed at, okay? People are calling this person a total clown. I feel like it's friends, it's family, um, could even be... Um, somebody that they're currently with even making fun of them i feel like it's everybody they're telling this person they were a dang fool forever leaving you behind and this they're getting ready to pop now they're they're literally being made um uh the like the town joke okay for real i think that there's a lot of people talking about this um yeah they're being laughed at from everyone anyway my darlings just take what resonates leave the rest behind okay don't try to force anything and thank you so much everyone for all of your support i love you cancer thank you i fell asleep in a chair you guys and it felt great <laughs> i really needed that nap so thank you cancer i'm sorry you guys i'm late but i was sleeping i'm sorry i've been trying to get my rest you know from this move Anyway, um, yeah, here's the thing that you could have been married to this person in the past, um, but they're hearing something about you maybe through gossip because I'm seeing this other person sitting by them. Um, it's making them want to pop. Look at this person's on the verge of like snapping. Okay. <laughs> Their veins are like popping out. Um, they're angry they're upset they could be hearing some gossip or rumors that you have a new cowboy and he's hot okay <laughs> for whoever this is for um some of you there could be someone here who's actually getting married to someone new already okay and this person this ex over here they are extremely upset on the bottom of the deck um is the king of wands energy very jealous very envious uh, i feel like they they're watching you and trying to figure out what you're doing, who you're with. Um, but they're looking back on the past, too. So you could have been married to this person before. And whether you're with someone new or not, um, whether you're planning a wedding right now or not, I feel like this is something that they've got in their head, right? And people are laughing and laughing. Yeah, yeah, they're very burdened by this cancer. I feel like this person may even drop this some of these burdens and communicate. Everybody's watching them. Look at, look, they know this person is going crazy for you. They know that they're ready to pop. They're, they know that they need to talk to you. And they just watch this person it's like their spirit diminishes every day okay because they're so stressed out and i i'm just getting the sense that they're keeping it all inside they're keeping it all inside but at the same time everybody is calling this person a simp for turning their back on you they're calling them a complete idiot for yeah look fights are popping off here this person may even be finding out that they've got competition now and they're being replaced. Whether you have new love already, Cancer, or not, <clears throat> they know that new love is coming in. For some of you, you are getting married to someone new or someone else other than them. They've been, look, these masculines have left their feminine energies alone for far too long or vice versa if you're if you're a masculine you know right and i feel like now is when you start getting these blessings rolling in they know that you're out here single abundant i mean this is the real treasure here this is this nine of pentacles is the hidden gem in the tarot okay you've transformed your life and you're you're very financially abundant and successful you're one of the um, most beautiful if you would consider this card as a person right the nine of, nine of pentacles this is a very beautiful gorgeous person so they left you out here single they know you're ready for love okay you've got everything you need here except for one pentacle and if you get a love offer from someone else and it's legit then yeah, you could be snatched up. 
okay? Either way you look at it, right? The two of two of pentacles. Either way you look at it, either you're already um, in a commitment or, you know, with someone new or you're going to be in the future, okay? So take it how it resonates. Yeah, but... Um, they know they have some competition here. Look, I'm telling you, love offer here for you, and that gives them a tower moment. They know that you you could have someone else already, or you will. You've got another love offer coming in, a cowboy. You, if you have a new person, your person could wear a cowboy hat, <laughs> something like that. I feel like you're choosing a new path. I feel like that's your energy, Cancer. And now this person is in love with you. Look at this. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. <clears throat> and what did I say about them holding, holding it all in? And, you know, my throat chakra keeps wanting to close up on me too, guys. So I feel like this person knows they need to talk, but they're holding back, holding back. The longer they hold back, the more their friends are saying, you know, you're a clown, laughing at them. They're, they could be feeling very embarrassed, very ashamed by how they treated you because they lost the best thing that ever happened to them. And honestly, they just can't keep carrying this burden. This person's going to, like, look at They're ready to pop, like, for real. They're going to pop a vein here. They've, they've got to come out with it. Um, I, I feel like they're doing all they can to, hang, to hold back. And the burden is now, you know, I, I'm getting the sense that it's making this person have some health issues, Okay. Yeah, clarify this Ace of Wands. I feel like, yep, I feel like this person is just very jealous, very envious. Um, they thought you would always be out in the cold, maybe a time of struggle. Um, you know, you would always be at, in a poverty situation or, you know, I feel like this person was happier when you were struggling, okay? It made them feel more secure, in a sense, to know that you were suffering out here somehow, Cancer. And now you're about to, uh, not only are you successful and abundant, that's all, your finances have certainly changed. But um, you're also about to get new love here. And you're an earth angel energy, very balanced, very stable. I feel like you, you've healed from this person you're starting to live your life again. New things are rolling in for you. This is a brand new beginning you're having. You know, this is like rising from the ashes, right? Five of Pentacles. Um, yeah, tower moment, Five of Pentacles. This is like your rise from the ashes, okay? That's what this is. And this person is all kinds of upset. And meanwhile, um, everybody's, everybody's turning them into a joke. They're laughing at them. Yeah, look, I feel like you have this new beginning here in love. You've got love coming towards you, money, success. And this person can't stand it. Yeah, you're taking control back of your own life. And here's the thing. I really feel like, Cancer, this is somebody that you could have been committed to or married to in the past, okay? Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, um, maybe Cancer, Pisces. I've got Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, yeah, something like that. Or they could have it in their chart. But yeah, um, I feel like, too, they're thinking that you're a magician. You know, they're, they're thinking that um, there's got to be some kind of trick, right, to how much you succeeded. Because literally, you rose from the ashes here, Cancer. And they've watched it. It's like miraculous. It is. If you look back on everything, right, look at how far you've come now. This is a major transformation, you're very spiritual as well with the Ace of Cups out here. This person thinks that you're like, um, 
you know, not doing anything bad, like not dabbling in any kind of spell work, but they think you're a magician as far as what, well, how did you turn your life around like this? You know, because you did. If you're on, it's not just a glow up like these, the, your success and your abundance, it's here to stay. And, and your confidence, look at how confident you are. You know why you're confident is because you've healed. You've healed from the heartache and betrayal that people put you through, including this person. And realizing that it's a, it's a tower moment to them, you know. They may feel like they don't have enough to offer you now, and that's why they're over here carrying the burden, trying to keep it all inside until they explode, right? Because look, you know. And I feel like the money now and the abundance is just kind of flowing to you now. Yeah, because you're following the divine's lead out here with the higher font. You know, I can also see this as your person getting the message, right? They're being uh, shown some information maybe about you. Um, so that it, it helps with, uh, it not helps, it's, it's part of their karma. Is to be shown parts of your future so that one they see what they're missing out on and two they see how happy you're gonna be yeah so that they know what they missed out on i just said that thank you divine <laughs> they are you know what spirit always has my back you guys for real i get so many confirmations like they'll throw me the card right after i say it you know so thank you spirit yeah i just feel like you're being divinely led Okay, um, very spiritual, very tapped in here, Cancer, Earth Angel energy, okay, with the Temperance Angel out here. And this person really missed out on a true blessing. They sniveled at it, they, they mistreated it, they could have abused their power somehow in trying to control you in the situation, but um, they missed out on this blessing. Now, this is the blessing they were given here. The divine said, here, let's give you a real love, man. You know, let's show you what real love is, right? And they said, no, no, I don't want it, right? How, whatever. They mistreated you. They pushed you out of their life. Now this, this blessing gets to go to someone else who is going to appreciate you. Okay? And they can't stand it. They can't stand it. And everybody knows it. And it's like this person refuses to admit it. But they're getting ready to pop. And I really do feel like it's affecting their health. Okay? It is like their guts or their, you know, like their their gut, right? Um, they could be having stomach issues, definitely headaches, maybe even high blood pressure problems. Look at this. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you're about to get, your new love is going to be an emperor. Look at that. They're trying to look at that. They cannot stand this cancer. So, you know, just know whatever whatever you're doing, they're jealous of, okay, basically. Um, yeah, I feel like some of you are really going to the altar here. Some of you are planning a wedding, like right now. Those of you who are not, this is what this person is envisioning for you in the future. Because it's coming in. And they, you can feel it, and they can feel it, Cancer. I feel like both of you. Yeah, look, you're moving on, having this victory. And as you go, here's your person. They may feel very betrayed, very angry, but yet they can't say anything about it because they pushed you out of their life. Very jealous, envious, but they can't say anything about it because their, their friends and family are already making them look like a clown. You know, um, yeah, it's going to affect their health. I feel, especially with the Ten of Swords out here. Yeah, they're in a lot of pain over this, you know. They're feeling possessive. I, that's what it is. They're feeling possessive, but they're not saying anything about it. They're keeping all of this explosive energy inside, and I'm telling you, they're going to explode, okay? Yeah. Okay, what else can you show me here for Cancer? Clarify the Ten of Swords. 
You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or maybe, give me, Cancer. You know what, honestly, Cancer, I, <laughs> you got two people out here now that want you back that are watching you. There's you guys, someone out here, or maybe many of you, have two exes that are just obsessed about you okay two of them I keep getting the same ones the king of Pentacles and the king of wands I have been getting these two Tweedledee and Tweedledum in my readings for for the last two and a half years so you've got two X's here that they know it's ending with and you're they can see you moving forward and both of them are in a whole lot of regret okay both of them are regretting leaving you behind, turning their back on you. You know, they're upset, they're jealous, they're looking at what they lost. Um, I, I feel like you're proving these people wrong about you because both of them didn't think that you were worthy. Okay, they're both feeling stupid. They're both feeling like a complete clown. They're both trying to find stuff out about you, okay, whether they know each other or not. But these two here, remember I talked about, it's, it's, it's been coming up in my head. The Corys, guys, do you remember a couple of years ago, I kept getting the Corys from the 1980s, Corey Heim and Corey Feldman, right? Um, the dynamic duo, okay? That's these two right here, the King of Pentacles, the King of Wands. These are the same two people I used to get in your readings like from two years ago. So yeah, you've got two X's here that um, they can't stand that you're moving on. They're, I feel like they're both ready to pop. They both feel dumb and um, they both don't want to say anything. They both don't want to confront or admit that they did anything wrong. They don't want to apologize. They don't want to um, confront the things that they've done. Okay. But they're both having this tower moment. Everything's coming crashing down on these two. Yeah, two of them. The Corys, you guys. Yes. <laughs> Everything's coming crashing down on them because they know you're moving on and out of their life and they both, both of them missed a blessing, okay? And you are about to get a new emperor. Uh, and some of you are already planning a wedding. Or maybe you've already gotten married. But either way, they know that you have new love coming into your life, okay? Man, what are they going to do? Are they going to do anything? Because honestly, you know, I keep sensing that this person needs to drop these burdens and talk. <clears throat> but I know that they're holding themselves back. Immature energy. Wanting to play games. That's what they are. Wanting to play games. Yeah, one is, the, you know what, here's the thing. Here's Here they are. <laughs> the Corys. Okay. I am not kidding you. One of them wants to apologize and say they're sorry. The other one is being stubborn and playing games. I keep thinking that the stubborn playing games one is this um, Leo Aries Sagittarius energy. And the one who wants to apologize is the more grounded and stable King of Pentacles energy. Um, possibly a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Okay, this one wants to apologize because you're pretty well off right now. You've got a lot of abundance. That's what this one is like amazed by. So I feel like um, this one up here, they're just fiery, envious, jealous, um, doing immature things, extremely immature. They're playing games. They're both getting laughed at too because they both missed out on the Ten of Pentacles. Oh man, Cancer. The Corys missed out on the Ten of Pentacles, Cancer. Okay, they could have had it all. They could have had ultimate wish fulfillment here. They could have had this, this treasure box, right, full of pentacles, right? Um, somebody who was loyal, dedicated. But all of this abundance, they could have helped create this at your side. Um, if they didn't push you out of their life. 
Yeah, so now the Corys want to, well, at least this, this one wants to come back around. This one over here wants you to, but this one's playing games. I feel one is more immature than the other. And if this, um, if this King of Pentacles energy um, wanted to come in and apologize, we don't even know if that's a true apology. This person, this King of Pentacles, could even be committed to someone else right now. What are they doing watching you? Right? You're staying in your lane in the chariot, and you're moving on. Um, you're moving on either towards or with a new emperor. And this is a power couple here because it's the emperor that drives the chariot, right? So you're in empress, emperor energy, and you're getting an emperor. Whatever you're building, it's going to be strong, strong, strong. And this is a blessing in love where the divine has led you. Yeah, so either congratulations, Cancer, or get ready, Cancer, right? <laughs> And just know that um, there's at least one of these Corys is going to come towards you um, with, a, with an apology. But I feel like it'll be too late. You're already in your chariot meeting somebody new. Um, living your best life. Okay? Building something solid. Yeah, I feel like they're going to have to sit in their own regret. Anyway, Cancer, listen, that's what I've got for tonight's reading. I do hope this helps and resonates, my darlings. Like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.